Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by The Rapid. They're kicking off a transit master plan and they want you to get involved. The Rapid's Jennifer Kalchik and board chair Don Lawless are here to tell us how you can participate. It's good to have you guys here. Thank Thanks, you. Good to be here. Glad to be here. This is an important part of sort of deciding where you are and where you need to be to meet the needs of people in our in our community, in our region, right? It is. It's really it's looking at taking a long-term vision the next 20 years. Um, what's transit going to look like in 20 years? How is it going to um, serve the needs? And how is it going to grow over time? This is not a new process. You're actually working off of a, of a current plan and sort of building on it, right? You've got to tweak it as you go along. Yeah, we implemented a master plan in 1998. And frankly, we've completed most all of the steps mm. in it. And it's a time for a new one. Remember, the vision for the rapid is to get beyond the idea that we're just going to have bus service for people who don't have cars. We've got a vision to have vital transit in our community. We think it's an important part of making Grand Rapids a community for the 21st century. And so we've got to have a master, master plan to work off of to implement that goal. When you guys created that 1998 plan, did you, were you wise enough at the time, or do you look back and kind of giggle at some of the things that were in that plan in terms of how far you've come in being you know, um, smart for the environment and the needs, the way that, that um, our region has changed? It's, it's more, like you said, than just taking care of people without cars. It is, and when that plan was developed, it was designed at that point to be a 20-year plan, mm. and that was 98. So, you know, at about 10 years um, out, we, as Don said, we've accomplished um, you know, wow. the majority of the goals in that plan, and so it's time to now take another look, and where do we go from here? Okay, so you're asking people in this community who only bus users or people who don't? Everybody. To, you want to hear from everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that, frankly, we put a premium on people who do not actively use the bus service you want right them. now. Um, because they're the ones that ultimately have to embrace this vision for the future. And, you know, none of the rapid millages pass exclusively with the votes of bus riders. Um, it's a group of people that That's understand right. that it's an important part of our community to have vital transit. And that, you know, we're going to get to a vision someday uh, where, uh, you know, you might decide that you can get by with one car because many of your other transit needs are going to be handled by more routine bus service or maybe mass transit in the form of bus rapid transit or maybe someday even light rail. Mm. And, you know, so everybody's got to participate in this process because, of course, we want everybody's support. And more importantly, we want everyone's input. Not everybody's going to share the vision and people need to challenge us through this master planning process so that we get the best plan that we can get. You also uh, want to look at what other communities are doing yes. so that you can find their best practices, right, mm -hmm. and incorporate it here. Part of, of what the plan is going to do is going to do a, a peer review process. So we'll be looking at two sides. We'll be looking at um, cities or regions that are comparable to the Grand Rapids metro area in terms of population and size and see how their transit looks and, and the kind of things that they're doing. But then we're also going to look at transit systems that are very much like ours to see how we measure up in terms of productivity, efficiency, you know, really to benchmark ourselves against other good agencies out there. Nice. Now, so between now and mid-November, you're having these meetings all over the community to get people there. Um, and you just want them to come, hear your story, and tell theirs, right? As it's going to be kind of a free exchange of information. They don't need to prepare in some way. No, uh, what they need to come with is, you know, thoughts about what they would like to see, their current mobility needs, um, how do they get around, and how would they like to get around. Mm. Yeah, and we'll give people something to react to. It's not just going to be a blank whiteboard and, and challenge <laughs> people to give ideas. Yes. You know, there'll be things for them to react to and prompt discussion, but um, we're not the experts on this. We need to hear from community members, and we really are encouraging participation. Well, it is an opportunity to become involved in an exciting conversation about the future of this community. And we want to let you know that the first Transit Master Plan Workshop is next Wednesday night. That's November 4th. This one is going to be at the Wyoming Public Library, Room B, from 6 to 8 p.m. We've put a complete list of all of the workshops and their dates on our website. Go to WZZM13.com under Take 5 Links. There is a link to the Rapid Master Plan website so you can learn more about it before you go. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank Catherine, you. Catherine, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're in the market for a used car, we have some do's and don'ts during this bumper-to-bumper -bumper week. Stay with us, please.